Hey everyone, here's a recap of the mid-journey office hours from November 29th. And quickly, a special thanks to everyone on Patreon for helping keep this channel sponsor free. You can learn more about how you can support after the recap. Now, the main things they're working on, of course, it's the new website and version 6. On the website, they're focused on collections and a selection-based downloader. That was going to come this week, but the person working on it got sick, so hopefully next week we'll see it. David has also been playing around with a version of the website that has image creation. He says it's not perfect yet and it could be better. They're going to do a stress test with some guides and mods today and if they're happy with it then the 10k club will have access to it. Then it really depends if there are any new bugs that get discovered before everyone else in the community will get their chance. They're also working on some new front page recommendation kind of stuff. It's not personalized but it will try to enforce certain things like weirder images and allow you to filter the explore page. All of those goals Goals are aiming for mid-December. David brought up how the date-based release cycle is their new plan and probably within the next three months we will see a version 7. There are some things that are not making it into version 6 and they're sad about it but that means they basically know what will be coming in version 7 and hopefully that's a good thing in the long run. As far as trouble with development, David said their AI models are pretty weird. They're different than other companies who use open source software. Midjourney does not use use open source code or what's in the newest scientific papers, but because of that there are different trade-offs, and some features may be more difficult to implement. With regards to version 6, he said it's looking more coherent, has more understanding, but will not be perfect. There is a limit to how many details you can give it until things start to blend together, and they've identified one part of their system that is getting in the way. They'll have to replace it, but they won't be able to do that until version 7, and in my opinion, I guess that's a good thing. At least they are aware of the problem. He also mentioned that they will have way better upscalers in version 6 and it's looking like it will be able to draw single words. It might not be able to draw out sentences in the first release. They also probably won't have in-painting at launch. David said they want to release something rather than making us wait longer. So, the biggest questions right now, how much text will it be able to write? Then, with regards to the batch size and resolution, the current leading candidate they have is 512 pixels and batches of 8 images. He said there's a chance that the new upscalers will be so much better that people won't be bothered with the initial resolution. And he said probably a good workflow is to iterate on smaller thumbnails until you find what you like and then choose which image you want to become the higher res. David said internally on their team nobody uses smaller batches. 100% of them make 4x4 or 8x8 grids and that is 64 images for every prompt. That will probably be overwhelming to many of us and eventually beginners might be relegated to just using the 2x2 when they first start. Either way we can expect some sort of bigger batches in the near future. If you like the art in this video here is the prompt. Photographic, surreal, lino cut, doodle art, block print, subject, minimalism, high contrast, hyper realism, chaos 15, and then a really specific style code, and stylized 222. I'll leave all of that in the description, and I need to thank Brandon MC. I found this prompt on the Mid Journey Explore page. Also note that some of the images in this video were made without the style code, and those will be the ones with less color. Some were also made with a lower stylized value, and some were made with style raw. Please consider supporting on Patreon if you want to keep this channel and videos ad free. You'll receive multiple prompts per week as well as first impression videos on the latest AIs releasing and some extra features as well. There's your recap of the mid-journey office hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time.